and six points. And they'll play again February 19th down in New Orleans. So two games in the Big Easy mm. and just one here in Washington. Well, you know, something else that I forgot to mention is going to be critical for Washington, and that is defensive transition. Placey Hughes and Brian Russell for Stackhouse, and they throw it away. Good job fronting that time. It's going to be an interesting matchup. Jordan's going to have to take with Wesley, and uh, I heard you mention how well. Nice move by Jordan. Jordan again drives off the glass and gets the roll. That's two nice layups for MJ. Leitner pulls the trigger. Got it. Give the assist to Jordan. A couple of free throws. Here's Mashburn's fadeaway. Missed that one. It reminds me just briefly of what I saw the other night with Antoine Walker, who missed all of those shots as Boston just got one for up. Keeping P.J. from game's top offensive rebounds, rebounders away from the basket. Jordan in the low post, fadeaway jumper, got another one. M.J. is hot. He has eight points. Jordan, another fadeaway, and he is red hot. Ten points for Michael Jordan on five of seven shootings. Trailing from behind, now there was a little bit of contact. Jordan is open for the short jumper, good. He's in the left hand and uh, making a very difficult shot. Jordan off the screen, his jumper, good. Jordan get a nice pick from Brendan Haywood right there. And that frees Jordan open. He drills the shot. Jordan has 23. Leitner, sw ball swings to Leitner, and he swings it to a wide open Jordan. Jordan has 19 points. The rest of the team, 17. And it's New Orleans by six. MJ, that's off the glass, and they'll give him two. Baseline jumper, good. 23 points in the half for Jordan. It's in 33 minutes. Jordan lays it off to Haywood. He scores. Nice play. Give the assist to MJ. For the rest of the year, very happy with the way he's produced. This is be his 10th year, I believe. Three seconds. Jordan will have to pop it. He gets space and hits. McGlure will try. Well, what a rebound by Matt. That's what, that's what we talked about. The difference that size. Uh, Jay's got another one. 27. 67 consecutive sellout here at the MCI Center. Jordan with a nice move. Another jumper. Score the field goal. And he'll go to the line. But they just reach out and try and grab you. Jamal trying to fight through the pick. Gets caught. Jordan crosses him up. And watch Mashburn go behind him and clip Jordan on the head, just trying to do anything to distract Jordan, taking their time to come up. Not so much that there was a pressure there, that they uh, forgot that they only had the eight seconds to bring it up. Jordan again. How do you like that? Partially blocked. Score it! And he's fouled. Jordan is so good at making blocks from behind. I thought that was a clean contact that he made. But still, after he blocked his shot, the ball went up in the air. There he gets the first one. Now this is the one we're talking about. Ooh. It's tough to see any contact. Jordan sloughs it down. And he's 14 for 24. I don't know how much longer he can do. I mean, he's actually just carrying the offense. Jordan works free and carries it. He feels that they need to stop that penetration in order to get some success. And they also think that Juan Dixon can get more shots as they start to concentrate more on Brian Russell. Back to you guys. Wizards had cut it to two and a chance to tie, but didn't do it. Jordan goes all the way, lays it left-handed oh, and scores. Beautiful shot. 37 for his airness. Dixon from long range. Got it! Three-pointer for Juan Dixon. His sixth of the season.
Jordan fading. What a shot! Fading and hanging. 39 for MJ. Seven to shoot into Kwame. Turn around. Go! Great pass to Wesley, blocked by Kwame. Jordan stops, tops, and hits. 41 to tie his season high. He's always <laughs> looking to get a piece of the hand. This is that block by Kwame. Takes away what looks like an easy layup from David Wesley. It converts into two for the Wizards at the other end. Into the corner, jumper, no good. Trailer is there, knocked away by MJ. Off his leg, out of bounds. Kwame inside, slams it in. Well, they needed that basket in a bad way. Michael Jordan has been nothing short of sensational tonight on a night when they're without Jerry Stackhouse and Larry Hughes. And he said that do you know that somebody has to step up and help replace the 23 points, and that's only from Stackhouse. We're not talking about Larry Hughes. Jordan has done it in a major way. 43 points, new season high. He scored from all over the court. He's shown you that he still has something left in those young legs. Augman fouls Jordan. Conley 6-2, gives him 45 on the night. And the Wizards lead by five, always ready to play this game. Jordan can run it out. The Hornets will not try to stop him. Juan Dixon with nine points in the quarter. Finished with 10 for the game. And Michael Jordan, the greatest player of all time, when they needed him without Stackhouse and without Hughes, comes through in a gigantic way. All right, thank you very much, Buck. 45 points today, 40-plus minutes. Did you feel like you were going to have to put a little bit more of the burden on your shoulder with Stack and Larry sitting down? I didn't know. You know, uh, I was going to come out and try to get everybody out of the blocks quick, and I did. From that point on, I think everybody was feeding off of me, so... I, I kind of had to lead that, that, you know, that area. And the guys fed off of me a little bit. We made a lot of mistakes with the, a lot of young guys, but this is a great experience for them. And it's good when you win because they can go back and look at it and feel very successful about it. But, you know, with both of those guys out, a lot of us are going to have to step up. You know, how does that happen when two of your top players come out and the team finds a way to get wins? Well, you need a good leader, and you, you have to have a good coach who believes in the, in the players and put down a strategy where everybody contributes. You know, everybody's needed. Everybody's got to step up in, you know, their game a little bit, and, and tonight we did. Very quickly, you talked about pars and birdies, getting that game that no one expects you to win to sort of even out the ones that you lost that you didn't want to. Is that one of those games tonight? Yeah, this is one of them. I mean, we got a few more we got to make up, but, you know, this is a big win for us because, you know, when you look at the calendar, you look at their, you know, their team and, you know, with, with the injuries that we have, you know, this is a big win for us. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate right. it. Michael Jordan, big night. Let's send it back over to Steve Buckhands. Big night for Michael Jordan. Big night for the Wizards, Phil.